In this video, I will be showing you how you remove the glass from the 8 Plus. It's an iPhone 8 Plus that was cracked on the back. Here's the new glass that we'll install. Let's go see how we get that done. Alright, so this first part, I'm just going to speed through it. This is simply a teardown. There are plenty of videos if you don't know how to do this online. I'm just showing you the whole process in order to... Uh, for you to have an idea of how long this repair will actually take you um, by removing all the screws, removing the logic board, pulling out the speaker, pulling out the Taptic engine, removing the adhesive from the battery, I still not damage it. satisfying all right on with the continuation I'm gonna re be removing the volume buttons and power button I use a little bit of alcohol to help loosen up the adhesive under it once the alcohol dries it becomes sticky again and we'll go ahead and take out that flex cable Next, we'll start working on the charge port assembly, trying to get it up. I also use alcohol here and a little bit of heat to allow us to lift up different sections of that. I'll also be removing anything from the inside that can melt. Any plastic piece. We're removing the brackets from the sides with all the screws. We'll also be removing the buttons and their brackets because the buttons themselves have rubber gaskets around the uh, two legs that stick through the frame and we'll want to make sure that those don't melt. Basically anything on the frame we're going to remove that can melt. So once I have all the brackets out, all the screws out, all the components out, anything that can melt, um, the next thing we're going to be doing is basically removing any adhesive like here on the sides when we're pulling up the adhesive is it will also burn and smoke uh, with the, uh, the process we're about to put it through. We'll go ahead and remove any of the extra adhesive from the charge board, clean that up real well, and then remove the external charging unit. Now we'll get a pair of gloves on so that we have a less chance of burning ourselves using this machine. This machine is set to 250 degrees Celsius, so it's super hot. I've got this plexiglass frame that ha allows me to put pressure down and uh, have, the, uh, have the machine punch through the back of the glass using that heat plate. Then using a pry tool, I'm able to carefully lift without shattering the glass and remove it from the frame. Looks like I missed a little piece of film there. We'll go ahead and pull it off. It's supposed to go on the external charge. Nothing really important. But I'll go ahead and pry up the next big chunk of glass. Basically allowing it to with a little bit of pressure to naturally pull itself away. And we'll push the, uh, the flat end of this tool and slide it under each segment of glass. Now each one of these glass repairs is going to be slightly different because they don't all crack in the same way, but the process is very similar. Some might be easier, some might be harder depending on the amount of shards that you have to pull out of the frame. And we'll go around and start picking at the littler stuff. If it gets too small, what I'll do is I'll pull out a razor blade and go around the edge and that should help me remove any of the smaller stuff. And I'll also scrape at and remove any of the extra adhesive. You can actually see the plexiglass is flexing because of how hot it is. 
And now we'll start probably up on the top. It's been warming up for quite some time, so it should lift fairly easily. The camera bracket is has a piece uh, on the frame. We're gonna need to break that away so that we can remove that last piece of glass. the tweezers just prying at it and it'll pop off just like that there we go make sure everything's straight on it and then we'll get to cleaning the rest of the frame so remove anything that's going to create a high spot so that we when we put the new back glass on it, it sits flat flush with all the sides and and the entire mid frame We'll go ahead, uh, go around the edges, scraping up any of the adhesive and then also cleaning up any of the uh, old adhesive that's sticking up. And then we'll go along the edge as well. The oils and the other things that collect over time, they get wedged in between the glass and the, uh, the frame there. Um, it tends to turn a darker color when heated to 250 degrees Celsius. And so you'll want to clean that up so that you don't have a, uh, a very noticeable border when you install the new glass. So we'll give it a test fit just to make sure that it's it's sitting down everywhere. And I'm going to use some glue here and I'm just going to follow more or less uh, what Apple had done. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Then I'll go around the outside and we will uh, make sure that the outside has a nice seal. I don't feel bad applying too much glue around the border. I want there to be a little bit of squeeze out, knowing that uh, it has sealed properly. And we'll go ahead and take some acetone with a clean room wipe and wipe it all down. Make sure it's not getting any of the extra glue anywhere. And then we'll need to uh, clamp it down. So I'll take some of my clamps and I'll clamp each corner. And then uh, looks like the side's lifting a little bit, so I'll clean that up and hold up a cloth and pinch it here with these little brackets that I have. They act as, as clamps, they're fairly strong. We'll definitely hold it together. Leave that there for a few minutes. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and remove the clamps and uh, clean up the edges as best we can to make sure it has a really nice finish that it looks like brand new. Well, there we go. The next step is going to be basically reassembling it. So again, we're going to do this as fast as humanly possible without missing a single step. So I'll put back all the buttons, all the brackets, the external charging unit, the power button, volume button assembly, the charge board, the logic board, the loudspeaker, the Taptic engine. We'll replace the adhesive on the battery and install that. After installing the camera there and all the screws, there's the new adhesive on the battery. Install that and the new adhesive around the border. We'll also want to install the adhesive there. Next thing we'll do is connect the screen. screws and brackets back on. Close up the phone, put in the last two screws, give it a nice little clean around the edge and on the back so the customer is happy. And there we go. Here's what it looks like now and that's what it looked like before. If you haven't taken apart a phone before and you want to try this yourself, make sure you give yourself plenty of time and that you have all the tools you need. Instead of a heat plate, you can use a heat gun, but it is tricky. 
Please subscribe if you like the video, throw a like on it, comment in the section below if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah.